What is up, guys? Insano James back with a, another fucking Jump Force video. Well, <laughs> holy shit! First off, I just I gotta say I'm I'm really, really, really fucking disappointed with a lot of things and uh... first off, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mention a, a couple things that I like about the game okay, now I know I've done uh... what like a, a few videos where I've complained and told, gave you my final thoughts, well that I retract that. Um, final thoughts, my ass. <laughs> Here are my thoughts, and they're not my final thoughts. Well, well, maybe in this video, but <sighs> like I said, the character creation is shit, except for a few things. Now I was I was correct on the fighting. You you be able to change your fighting style which is not brawler by the way it's ninja style martial arts and pirate uh, pirate style uh, fighting style so I got that right and you were able to pick different uh, between Goku or Vegeta's fighting style and, and attacks from what I could see and uh, you know when I started the game, I think I played it when it, after it downloaded last night. Uh, I played it till like four o'clock in the morning, and uh, my one of my biggest biggest issues with the game, and I'm sure there are a lot of people on on board with this what I'm about to say and it's no English dub it's all fucking Japanese that's my biggest fucking problem I, I need to tone it down on on the F word but I'm pissed I'm upset I'm very disappointed with the game and it's not just you know the voice acting it being only Japanese and English subtitles there's no there's I go I, I paused I press the options button the, the pause menu and there's no options for shit except for you know the level of sound for the voice uh, voices and sound effects and music and all that so yeah I, I thought it would have been you know, because I saw a few videos where people were saying that voice, uh, you know, English dub is confirmed for Jump Force, but no, apparently not. So that's a that that deducts uh, a few points <laughs> on this game for me. I I when I when after after a while here and I I can't sit there and play the game reading subtitles and listening to the Japanese acting in it, uh, voice acting. I just, I can't. I can't. I don't know. It's just annoying to sit there. Just their squeaky little Japanese voices. I'm sorry. I mean, maybe not all of them are that squeaky. It's just this me. I can't stand it. It's just I've got nothing against the the Japanese culture or the Asian culture. It's just I I can't sit there and do it. I'm sure some of you love to sit there and play it and listen to it that way and read the subtitles because it's original because it's made but by uh, Japanimation and and this is the 50th anniversary of the manga series and you know but yeah that's my biggest that's my biggest issue with the game now what I love about the game, I'm not, I'm not done complaining. <laughs> Hold on, uh, my 
And that's, well, it's kind of obvious what I love about the game, and that is the gameplay, the combat mechanics, the fighting. Uh, it still has a little issues, uh, a few uh, problems, but uh, it's, it's fun. I enjoyed playing the game. When I'm doing a match, that's when I started enjoying the game. When I had to sit there and listen to the, the uh, and I thought it was just for the intro. As soon as I started the game, I go through the cutscenes, and it does the same thing that Xenoverse did, where you weren't able to record the cutscenes when you press the share button to record a gameplay. That's not an option in this either. I, you know, I guess that's Bandai's, you know, rule. You know, can't record cutscenes which I don't see what the big fucking deal is if you're able to record the gameplay then why can't I just record the cutscenes which at this point I, I don't I could give a sh I could give two shits and a fuck if I could record the cutscenes I mean that was my problem when I was playing Xenoverse too you know because it was in English you know I enjoyed the game you know and and the storyline uh not that strong and I've I have I have not gotten that far into the game but so far uh, as far as I've gotten into the game it the storyline is not all that great it's not that strong it's it's kinda weak and to tell you the truth I'm seeing a I'm seeing a deja vu again uh, it's a mixture between Dragon Ball fighters this Jump Force is a mixture between Dragon Ball Fighters and Dragon Ball Universe 2. No shit. I'm 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 dead serious. Now, when I started going into the game, uh, the campaign, I got to the point where there's these the bad guys or the villains or the enemies. They're called the Venoms, and <laughs> they don't speak. They got this dull look on their face, just like the clones in Dragon Ball Fighters. And apparently, you know, Vegeta has been mind controlled by these Venom uh, characters where they. He's got these red eyes and this black aura, and he doesn't speak, just like the clones in Fighters. And I'm, I'm like, this looks a lot like the fighters uh, scenario, you know. And and the reason I say this is a lot like Xenoverse 2 is because you get to create a character. And, well, you know, honestly, to tell you the truth, Dragon Ball Xenoverse character creation is far better than what this game is giving us. I'm not kidding. I thought it would have been better. You know, I mentioned that the body size was my problem. But as, as far as being able to pick a color and a style, you have five different areas. I'm not kidding. You have five different areas in the hub world where you have to go to each little shop to buy a certain outfit. I'm, 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 I'm serious. And those of you who've bought the game and have already played it already know what I'm complaining about and feel the same damn way I do. Now, I don't want to have to run around every area, uh, and, and, and by the way, when you start the campaign, or you, and, and you're going to, you got to pick between three different teams. That's Luffy, Narado, and Goku. And they're not called Goku's team, or Narado, or Luffy's team, it's called Alpha, Beta, and Gamma. And I'm like, uh, okay. What is this fucking college? <laughs> Are you shitting me? And not only that, when you're in this hub world, you have no idea. You ain't got a clue in a world where the fuck to go in this game. And I got the map on on the game. You can either turn it on and off like Xenoverse 2. You could, but you had to hold the button to see the map on Xenoverse. Now, you press the button on the game, and you have the map. But it does not tell you. It does not give you a waypoint or your next objective. You're running around this big open hub world, 
and you're lost. I'm not kidding. You're lost. You don't know where to go next. You don't. I'm running around everywhere, and everything's telling me that they're not open. I go to the shop; it's not open. I go to the rewards uh, desk; it's not open. I go to play offline; that's not open. You play online; that's not open. I'm like, well, what in the? F I mean, what the hell? Where in the hell am I supposed to go? So I go, I go through the, you got three different areas. You got to go to the alpha, you go down the stairs, you go to the alpha uh, team, which is Goku. You talk to him. Then you go talk to Narado, which is Beta, I think. And then you go to Luffy, which is Gamma. And, and then that's it. I'm like, well, I go back to him again to talk to him, to do a mission. I assume, you know, I go talk to him again. We're going to do a mission. No. And I'm like, well, what the hell's my next? What do I do next? I'm lost. I didn't know where to go. Didn't give you a waypoint, like I said. Then you go to this area. It goes all the way under in, in, into a, you know, like this, this uh, science room area, you know, where this guy, the, the director or the, or some, I can't remember what he was called. It's, but you go to him, and then that's when you start the campaign, and you start doing missions. Now, like I mentioned earlier, you got these villains called the Venoms, and they take over uh, Vegeta's mind. And I said, you know, he's got the red eyes and the black aura, and he... After he wakes up, after I beat him, he he's sitting there like, you know, confused, what the hell's going on, why am I here, and Goku and everyone's sitting there explaining them in Japanese, and I'm reading the subtitles, and he says in the subtitles, because, because they're trying to explain to him what happened, and he says, can you explain it to me in plain English, English people, are you kidding me? They put that in the subtitles, explain it to me in plain English. <laughs> and that was my biggest that was my biggest problem with the game that it's in fucking Japanese. There's no options for any other language. No other type of subtitles. You don't have French subtitles, you don't have Spanish subtitles. Only English. There's no options for anything. I've ex I've already explained this. You know, and the 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 character creation is is far worse than I assumed it would have been. You know, but it. Now nah, you know what I want. I want to talk about the beta now. Now, now the beta. I assumed I assumed what a beta was. You know, of course it was in Japanese because it's just the beta. And you know, I thought when they they give you the option to play the beta and download it and and whatever that you, they give the characters they give the players a chance to enjoy the game and Bandai or whoever gets feedback from the players who played the bet the beta and then they do something about that before the game is is fucking released I would assume that's what a beta is but now I'm just starting to wonder or think that it's just a demo. Like, if, if, if betas are, are, are like a demo, then why the hell, why are they calling them betas these days if it's just a fucking demo? I mean, seriously. Is, is that necessary? Well, we got two different names for it. It's uh, beta and demo. What's the beta? What part of that is the beta? Please, elaborate. Someone, please, in the comment section, elaborate what the fuck a beta is. Now, you get demos, right, for games before they come out. That's kind of the same thing. Now, I can't see, uh, I can't see the difference between the two. You know, maybe beta is just because you go online. That's why it's called a beta. I, I don't know. May, it, may it, yes, maybe. You could tell me that in the comments, guys. Because I ain't got a clue. 
you know, I said this game was like Dragon Ball Fighters and Xenoverse 2 in, in one game, and then pff, it's the 50th anniversary, and it's just all slapped into one game with a bunch of other anime characters from different shows. Anyone, anyone want to elaborate? What the hell, people? I mean, all right. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go off. I'm not gonna talk about them. No English version. No options for it. Uh, you're confused. You're in the hub world. You don't know where to go. Does it give you a waypoint? Does it give you a clue? Okay. Three. Uh, the CAC sucks. And uh huh. <laughs> Yeah, so that sucks, and the color options, that's, I don't know if I mentioned that, but, you know, the color options for each costume, when you have to go to five different shops to buy that costume, is fucking ridiculous. You know, you go to the Alpha, and you want to buy an outfit from that style of Luffy, or Naruto, or Goku, or whoever's in the game, you get four to five different color options of their outfits. There, you don't get to pick it, pick the color of your liking. No, no, sir. No, that's no. <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me, but you know, Xenoverse Two did that a little better. Maybe not that. Maybe not their their outfit. You know, maybe you didn't get that exact outfit in Xenoverse, but you were able to pick the color you want for the outfits you are going to wear in the game with your avatar because you have to play as your avatar just like in Xenoverse that's what I'm that's that was my point this game is Xenoverse and Dragon Ball Fighters put in one game um seriously i mean i, I feel like this this uh this storyline is a lot like uh the clone uh, storyline in fighters and then you're making an avatar who's supposed to help the jump force the J force is what they're calling it in the game the J force and you're a part of the team and th what th does that not ring a bell oh wait that's a lot like Xenoverse wait this is Xenoverse 3 yep because they're not doing a Xenoverse they're not actually doing a Xenoverse 3, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3. They're not doing one. That, that's how I feel right now, really. I mean, that's what this is. This is Xenoverse 3, guys. Good job, Bandai. Good job, Unreal Engine. And whoever the hell else that made the game or helped make the game. But, yeah. And I, I I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but you know IGN gave this game a 6.5. I, I I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, you know say it again, you know, and they and they picked out every issue that I even the same thing I had a problem with. So yeah, well I mean. Some of you guys may love listening to the the, the Japan uh, the Japanese uh, voice acting with English subtitles. Good for you. Just that's not me. I can't. I can't do it. I'm strictly just gonna play this game. I don't even know if I'm gonna play the campaign anymore. I'm probably just gonna play it for the online and offline. Again, you know, to do the, you know parallel quest quote unquote because that's what those are really it's the same damn thing this this game is so much like Xenoverse it, it's ridiculous you know um, I wanted a new fucking experience and the only really new experience is, is the is the anime characters and the new fighting style and the and the, and the combat system Except for the fucking health bar. 
That wasn't fixed. I complained about that in my last video. The health bar is bullshit. Complete bullshit. If I want to tag out and play as as uh, Vegeta or Goku or or whoever, and I and I start out with my character or whoever, and he's already taken damage, and then I tag out, and I'm playing as Vegeta now. He's already damaged. That that still exists. You know, if I'm sure you guys already know this, if you bought the game, and and I'm sure you, I'm sure you guys are as as pissed off as I am. This game is is highly disappoint me, and I had high hopes, and my hopes just went crashing into the ground like an atomic bomb. <sighs> I think that's pretty much all I've got to say. I'm done. I hope you enjoyed this foot well maybe you didn't <laughs> but <laughs> this video uh this is insano james i'll see you guys next time i'm out god damn it